I love this village project and I love the savannah and we have a very very high population of villagers now um, Yeah, we have further bred them and I believe we have about nine villagers now We start getting iron golem spawns and there's still a few workstations that are not claimed This is our newest building the armorer. This is how the inside looks like we decorated it a little bit and Today we are going to add an additional structure to this beautiful village. How are you guys doing? Yeah, that looks actually so nice, right? Look at them. How they're standing there at this at this street light here. At this, uh, wow. I feel like we really did well with the roads as well. Like walking through them feels actually really good. What we sometimes could do is like add a little water, maybe put some pets along the road. I could put like a cat on the bush or something. Like there are definitely ways to make this look even nicer. But yeah, uh, let me show... Oh, they're actually, they're detecting this new, oh, this is where the new building will be, and uh, guess what building this will be? Okay, let me tell you, this will be a farm, and here is going to be a huge fence, there will be an outside area from that farm, right? And I think here, yeah, here will be a door, there will be a bunch of windows, of course, so here will be a window. And what we're gonna do with this actually is we're going to strip the lock except for those corners here Here will be a door For the ground I've decided to use jungle wood for the fence and in some of the outside uh, area We are going to work with oak like I like to use a var variety of wood like I don't want to use just one type of wood I actually want to use a variety. This is what I like doing with buildings at least three or four types of wood This will make your buildings look way more interesting and so much better. So it's really really good to do that and Unlike the other buildings and I will actually try to do that more often We are going to have the door on the side and not in the middle of the building and sometimes you're gonna have buildings in a different shape. They're not always gonna be cubic just like this here Right where you have like a, a extra side here and this and that right and here'll be another window And what we really need to do is we need to catch some sheeps and cows I'm going to have both And yeah somewhere here will be the stair so there will be no window You will be How many windows should I add here? Let me think It's going to be a window on this side here I don't want to overdo it There we go Nice Now very very important um, so we have to catch some sheep. I already have some wheat and some cows, but I want to start with sheep first So at this corner here There will be our sheep farm It's not gonna be like a, a super huge farm, but it's gonna have a decent size To get rid of those blocks And here it's going to make a turn And in this corner here will be the fence gate Nice Now all I need to do is find some sheep. I think I saw that there are some oh, that's a <gasps> This is a cat. I really like ah is there water nearby Okay, there's a sheep. Okay. We are just grabbing sheep from there, but I need to find a Lake or so if I get too far this cat will despawn right? Oh, there are two sheep. Okay, I, I've already located two sheep. This is good. There's a pig, but no, no pig farm. Just cows and sheep. Um, where's water here? Is there not like a little lake where I can catch some? F okay, there's the ocean. I hope this cat doesn't despawn. I will quickly catch some fish so we can um, tame this beautiful Garfield style cat. I really want that one. But I believe that maybe despawns because we are way too far from it. Oh no. Oh, wait a second. Is that a horse? <gasps> we can get our first horse soon. 
Yo, I, I, I'm gonna, yeah, so, so this building, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have like shepherds, but we're also gonna have leather worker. I will max level the leather worker so it sells the saddles and we are going to tame um, the horse. Now fish, uh, oh, they are fish, they are fish, very good. Need to tame a cat, so. Okay, two fish. Wait, fish or fishes? No, it's, it's. Fish is also plural, right? I'm sorry, English is not my native language, even though I'm pretty fluent at it. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think fish is also the plural, right? Correct me the comments actually if I broke. Yo, there are many. Let's get them. You, 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 you. And how many do we have? Seven. I, I'm, I'm going for eight. I think we need at least eight for this cat. I think that's that's a stubborn cat. My bad. Yeah, eight fish should be enough. And I accidentally cut that <laughs> octopus here. <laughs> um, there would have been a nice location here as well for a village. I just realized this is quite flat here, right? Like we could have built a village um, next to the lake. But I'm not going to move all the builds we have made. But I actually haven't noticed this area here. It's actually also pretty flat. This doesn't need much work. Okay, there are cows. Good. Um, but I want to start with the sheep. So I'm going to grab this one here. Calm. Be a good sheep. And we're going this way. There was a second one. Calm. Oh, how I wish I had the lead. I could make this faster. Now come. Oh wait, near to our house, I remember one sheep escaped us. We're actually going to use the escaped sheep for, for the breeding with this one. So we are going back to our other house. Because there was one single sheep I just remembered. Last night I saw that there's one escapee. One escaped sheep. And please, I hope this Garfield cat is still there. Yo, you're so slow, dude. Is there any animal? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually can speak the language of animals. I'm like Dr. Doolittle. Look, like like this sheep will understand what I'm saying. <laughs> what I said is, please be a good sheep and follow me. I have a nice home for you here. You're gonna enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah, I speak, I speak the sheep language. I'm just like Dr. Doolittle. No, no, come, come. Wait, why is that one frozen? What just happened? <laughs> that was weird. Now come here, I will, I will find you a mate. Don't worry. But first we need to find that beautiful cat. Where is that beautiful Garfield style cat? I hope it did not despawn, please. If not, I have to... <sighs> this is... This is so dangerous. This is super dangerous, guys. I have to close this up here. Yo. Why is there a bed? Oh, we've explored this one already. Okay, okay. So yeah, that cat is gone, I believe. Why did this happen? Let me explain. So the thing is about cats, if they spawn in a village, it's the same kind of like with illagers, right? With like those pillagers that spawn. If you get too far from them, same with cats, they despawn. And the water source, like the, the, the river, was very, very far. So this is why the cat disappeared, unfortunately. So we have to wait for another spawn. But the good thing is we are prepared this time. Because, um, yeah, we have fish now. I can just put the fish in our chest. So if the next time anything spawns, like a, a cool cat I like. I, I want the Siamese one and the Garfield one. Those two are uh, among my uh, favorite uh, types of cats. So the yeah, next time they sp any cat spawn, we have eight fish. Should be enough. I'm just going to tame it. Let's hope to get it spawn again. Now... We are going to our first structure because we had an escaped sheep. <gasps> they have another child. Go, we're gonna have our armor maybe today. 
I th yeah, because there, there's, there's still two armor uh, stations and they need to be claimed. And look at this. There's the escaped sheep. Come here. Wait, there's actually two sheep. No, that's not the escaped one. One second. Is it still somewhere around here? Wait, where did it go? Was it the water sheep now? Wait, no way! We have two iron golems stuck in the water now. Okay, since this is a trap for iron golems, I've noticed there's only one way to fix this. I must put dirt blocks here so they can go up themselves again. I hope they can. I hope two blocks are enough for this. But yeah, where's the escaped sheep? There was one single sheep roaming around. Where is it? Or did it fall somewhere? Yo. Yo, I hear zombie under me. Yeah, we're just going to use one of the two. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Look, I told you there was an escaped sheep. I found it. Yo, you walked actually far from the home. Come on, you're the one I need because you don't belong to any group. You were bred by me, so come here. You're a good sheep. Meh. No, wait, the farm is this way, my bad. I have such bad orientation sometimes. Meh. Whoa. Okay, that's just a one block deep hole. Yo, where is it? Ah, here it is. Ah, come here, come here. Ma'am, I'm gonna shame you and then make a carpet so I can enter the farm more easily. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come. Yeah, meh, 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 meh. Be a good sheep. I got you, are mate. We're gonna start the breeding any second. Okay. Are you guys ready for the next generation? Yeah, you look ready. Let's do this. Let's make a baby sheep. Look, got like three sheep. And look how big the head is of this baby sheep. I find the sheep so cute. I wish I had a name tag. I would give you a nice name. You know what I would call you? I would call you Will. If I had, if I had a name tag, I would call you Will. Or William, yeah, William. Full name, William. I would call you William the Sheep. Oh, if, I only, if only I had a name tag. You guys think I have a name tag? If so, I will name this one William the Sheep. We have a name tag. Wait, there's a new sheep. And a new sheep, a new cat. I think I have this one already. Yeah, if, if I find a name tag, I need to name this one William the Sheep. Now about this building, let's actually bring this a bit more up. To at the doors today. For th oh, there's something cool I want to do with this building as well. So we have quite a lot of mangrove wood, right? How about we actually make the windows as well as the entrance, like the doors, out of... <gasps> oh, I messed up here, my bad. Uh, we're gonna make this out of... Um, Mangrove wood. Let's first of all, bring this building at least three blocks up. Ah! Hope we have enough for this. Okay, it's looking good guys. It's looking really good. Let's strip all the locks here. Hopefully my X can last a bit longer, but then again, we have a nearly infinite amount of um, diamond access with efficiency three. Like we were so lucky actually with the villager. He offers us unbreaking three in efficiency three. This is the perfect X for our tree farm. That's why I'm so rich, like I always have like emeralds with me. Like the other day I had like multiple stacks and I was leveling, leveling up several villagers. And I have like a chest full of diamond tools already, so it's no problem if something breaks, I can replace it easily. 
Um, yeah, we have to work on a library soon, so I upgrade some of the tools uh, to netherite. And for that, I will just use the books with enchantments from the librarian. So we don't actually have to rely on enchanting table. We can just use the librarians, get uh, max efficiency, max this, max that, max unbreaking. And what actually looks better? I think, yeah, it looks better not with the planks, but with actually the stripped locks on the ground. Just like that. Now, whew, we are quickly going to grab the glass as well as the mangrove. I mean, mangrove wood, I mean. And I'm gonna add the doors. And we need more trap doors. Ah, ah. More mangrove locks. Mm, need to regrow that, no problem. Oh, very important. We need this, we need this, and we need this. And you will see that actually a cakea wood goes so well with mangrove. Like, look at this. Ah, isn't this beautiful? I actually love the mangrove um, doors. Like, I, I love the texture, like the way they look. How they have like those iron thingies at the corner. I think the mangrove wood is one of my most... Eh, the mangrove wood. Yeah, I think the mangrove door is actually one of my most favorite doors. I love the handle here, the texture, and how they're like those small iron parts on the side. Like, this is one of the best d doors in the game. The spruce door is uh, very, very great. I love the mangrove one. I fi find the crimson door to also look really, really nice. I would say those three are my favorite ones. Spruce, mangrove, and crimson doors. And yeah, I kind of like how... Like here's a wall, then there's a window, then on the other side you have a window, you have this, you have that. I think it really adds. <laughs> Thinking if we should add another window here. Don't have silk touch with me. I actually did a mistake. I don't want the window to be here. I want it to be here. Mm. But anyway, so our windows are going to have this sort of design. Look at this. Ah, does this look great? Same here. And then on the side like this. Wow! Now this entrance will be special and I, I will show you guys why. One second. So here this house there will be a fence that is connected with it. And when you actually leave the house There's going to be a cow farm. This grass is... Okay, sorry, tree, you must go. You're in the way. There we go. We have to connect this. This will be for the cows. Oh, yeah. What do you guys think? Should I actually bring this out a bit more? No, no, like this is fine, I think. I don't want it to be too large. But what I want to do is... I definitely want to add a road that leads to this building as well as the farms.
Okay, so those are connecting. It's going out by two. Let's quickly sleep and then connect everything. But should I have the road go behind the house or next to it? I'm just not sure about that right now. Like what we could do is we have a road that goes like behind the house, then it goes here somewhere and then it leads to the farm. What I think would probably be better because here it's kind of weird if I have a road that goes like this, right? Yeah, we're going to just have a road that leads um, all around the house to the park that we're gonna add where the bell will also be and this will connect to the farmhouse. So for this I have to get rid of a lot of the grass. Oh, there's lava below us, what the heck? I'm breaking grass with a stake. That is so weird. Okay, so here. Oh, there's another cat. Good. Oh, and um, along the road there will be a lot of bushes and fences like this. Like this would be the main design for the roads. I'm also going to strictly stick to a cake here, of course. It's purely going to be a cake here and, and, and the birch bushes. And there's going to be a lot like this. Then um, here where this cobblestone is will be the gathering point for the villagers. Also the uh, yeah the park. And there will be a road leading to here. Then we we'll make a turn here. Then it will be straight up to the house. So yeah this will be the road design of this. And yeah, I'm using steak again to break grass. Wow! Finally! Like this is starting to get some structure. Okay, let's see if we can um, breed the sheep again. Aesthetically, I'm not going to add a fence here because this is not our private farm that we are using for something. I hope I actually got the parents and I wasn't inbreeding them. <laughs> Yeah, now the cows. Um, where were the cows? I think the cows were somewhere over here. <gasps> That's a nice cat too. I don't have this one, the gray one. Let's quickly grab the fish. I hope this is still within the area. I shouldn't have uh, gotten rid of the fish in my inventory. I think this was a mistake. Okay, let's tame the cat and get the cows. Okay. But yeah, what do you guys think about the bills that we have come up with so far? I feel like some of them turned out really, really nice. With a high population, we will keep getting more and more iron golems in the days to come, especially when we get like another one or two villagers. Because my experience is, if you have at least 10 villagers, you're getting like constantly iron golems. Now, don't tell me I was too far again from the cats. Oh no, I still hear them. Oh, there it is. That's the one I want. Come on. I don't have you yet. Gaffy, eh, not Gaffy, Grey cat. Oh, you're kidding me. You don't notice I'm holding a fish here. Tell me you don't like fish. You only eat meat. There are actually some cats that really hate fish. I think my cat, I have a Persian cat at home. I have a pet cat. And I think my pet cat, when I buy food with like tuna fish or fish, like, yeah, he eats it sometimes, but I, f I feel like sometimes he prefers meat actually. Because he doesn't, he doesn't like go as crazy for the fish than for the meat. 
but yes, yeah, so I'm saying like all cats have a different sort of taste. Yo, I are you chasing me? I mean, are you like putting me to like the? What, what is up with this cat? Doesn't have hunger? Yeah, maybe maybe I should go stealth mode like this. If I can approach it like this, look. Maybe it's going to work. Yo, I'm hiding behind the tree. I feel like a hunter right now, hunting for some sort of creature or animal. Or oh, come on. If I had a boat, I would trap you. So I swear. One fish is enough to tame you? Seriously? But yo, welcome to the family, my dear cat. What shall I name you? Mm, 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 I need a name for you. I need a name for you. But we don't. Have, do we have name tags? I don't think so. Do we? Should I name you Billy the cat? Billy. How about I? I. I Billy maybe. Okay, you're going to the farmer house. You will actually be the farmer cat because you know what? I saw cats of your breed. Like the uh, like the they look like you same sort of cat, and they're at farms here in Germany. So in Germany we have cats of this sort of, yeah this this breed, and yeah they're at farms. They're also gray like you. Sometimes they have like a brownish color or a grayish color like this one. So that's like a that's like a typical farmer cat here in Germany. We have a lot of those, and I often see them sneak around the grass. Yeah, you need to start. Growing some mangrove trees again, get more logs, but for now we need cows. So earlier I saw some cows here, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. Cow, 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 cow. There's one. We need a second one. Oh, come on. Where's the other one? Just one cow? No way. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, so you first and then your friend. Good. Good boy or girl. Good boy or girl. Oh, there's another one. I didn't see that one. So there are three cows here. Could have just grabbed that one. I was closer. Can already see the farm. That's good. We are not far from it. Come on, walk faster, dude. Are there sheep stuck on a cliff? That is so horrible. Come here, we have to look at those sheep there. Yo, look at them. That's a horrible sight. They are trapped there. I'm going to be your hero, guys. I will save you. Like, we have to save those sheep. Look at those poor sheep. <gasps> I feel so sorry for them. Like they are like they need they need animal rescue like seriously they need some animal rescue look at those poor sheep We are going to save them right now We're going to actually make a, a, a bridge out of dirt Going down here No worries, I will save you Now I need to use the wheel to lure them and, and bring them to safety. I really hope they don't fall down. Yeah, that would be so embarrassing, right? If one gets pushed down. Yo, we saved sheep. Yeah, there we go. And because I saved you, you will give me your wool, right? Thank you. It was my pleasure. Okay. Um, yo, I, yo, I feel like I'm being just like Paw Patrol right now. Because in Paw Patrol they save animals too. Um, well before it's night, um, I must accomplish my mission and get you back to the farm. Please be quick. The sun's going down already. I don't want a creeper to blow you guys up. By the way, I speak the language of cows too, because I'm just like Dr. Doolittle. Okay, I will translate for you guys now. So I said to them, 
Hey, if you come with me to your new farm, your new home, you will get something delicious to eat. That's what I said. Okay, there we go. Here, I kept my promise. You got something delicious to eat. And now we have a baby cow. Just look at this cute cow and its large head. I love baby animals. What should we name you, little cow? You know what? I will name you Richard. Maybe I should name you Richard. Yeah, you're going to be Richard the cow. If only I had name tags. So we have Billy the cat, Richard the cow and William the sheep. Yo, can I even remember those three names? <laughs> I will try to. <laughs> but that means we need to get three name tags. Wait, don't... Wait, which... which vi Isn't there like a village that actually when you max level it has a chance of selling name tags? Or can you only get name tags actually from... From mine shafts and stuff? Oh wait, you can actually fish for name tags, right? I believe. But yeah guys, that's it for today's episode. In the next episode, we are going to actually fully work on the farm and finish it. It will be our two floor high building. That's what I intend on doing here. And I am going to further breed those beautiful creatures. And yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time.